tanks revolutionized warfare. They were designed to break the stalemate of trench warfare during the First World War. It's only been a week. The rush has been home during right World War II, in. tanks came of age and Got became a major part of warfare. The Russian T-34 well, tank was more advanced than any other tank at the time. They were produced in a giant factory hidden in Siberia. The Sherman tank was made at a new Chrysler plant in Detroit. The Sherman became the universal Allied tank of the war, leading the Allies to victory over Germany. In 1944 the Germans developed heavier and heavier tanks, like the Tiger tank and the King Tiger tank. These tanks were feared by the Allies, but there were too few of them to turn the tides of war. In 1972 the Middle East War saw the largest tank versus tank war since World War II. In 1972 both Chrysler and GM were asked to make plans to produce a new standard tank. Chrysler won the job. Their tank, the M1 Abrams, uses a new armor that can withstand nearly any type of tank busting round. In 1978 the first tank rolled out of the factory. The M1 Abrams Super Tank was born. Tanks have been around for nearly 97 years. They will be used in combat until the end of man, whether by onboard driver or remote control. There are no limitations on the tanks of the future.